Guys, today we're going to take a look at some RTA matches. This guy is using Seung Fei in G2 RTA. Not only is he using Seung Fei, he is first picking Seung Fei, the Fire Panda Fusion Unit in G2 RTA. I thought it'd be very curious to take a look. Let's take a brief recap of what Seung Fei does. Many of you are familiar with him from Beginners, uh, Beginners R5, right? He's got the defense leader skill, 33% defense leader skill so they're already picking a nice leader skill he's got the first skill uh defense break multi-hit defense break second skill this is i think one of the big reasons that they're building him or they're they're uh picking him in rta removes harmful effects grant on all allies recovers hp by 15 percent each each it's a regen right it's a cleanse into a regen and then he puts a counter attack on himself but the big thing is he was buffed not too long ago for a cleanse he didn't used to have it before for um, the full team cleanse. Now he has a full team cleanse. And then this third skill, really, I feel like the third skill is not that exciting. I mean, it's it's good for R5, but it's not really that exciting for like RTA, especially when you have some crazy, crazy third skills with some other units. Uh, it's just a multi-hit. It does a few different debuffs, right? So uh, this guy's first picking him though. He's legit first picking Xiongfei in uh, G2, and he's winning, so I thought let's definitely take a look at some of these replays. Like I said, first pick Xiongfei, G2 versus G3. He's using a lot of these passive tanky units, by the way. So he's got the Leo in there. That's going to uh, decrease the damage that the Light, light Beast Rider, though. Uh, decrease the damage that Light Beast Rider does. So he does strip. I wonder how much resistance that, um, right, doesn't do that much damage because the, uh, the Leo's there. Also, um, I, well, I was going to say, I wonder how much I don't remember. Oh, how much resistance he has, right? So uh, another one of the things is this light, say <laughs> light cocky, light on Amusha. So many people legitimately using the light on Amusha. So many people legitimately picking the light on Amusha. If you have the light on Amusha, you should be using him. He's a fantastic unit. He's a very, very meta unit right now. I'm not sure if everyone knows that, but he's a very, very meta unit for... Uh, for like a bruiser kind of unit for uh, RTA for really everything right so he's he's very popular right now but as we see I mean he basically he did a cleanse he, he cleansed uh, all those debuffs that were on it before and he's got the leader skill I think he actually used the acroma I didn't pay too much attention to the leader skill I'm sorry that's what I'm supposed to be doing didn't pay attention to the acroma leader skill or the, which leader skill but I'm pretty sure he went for the acroma leader skill right I mean he's got acroma but he's we're gonna see some other matches with some other stuff not just acroma but you see he's using it with some passive tanky bruiser units right so he doesn't have the uh, he doesn't have the skill to cleanse right now I'm um, I'm assuming that he's on violent uh, let's see if he's on violent though We've got a couple debuffs on the the what is his name kinky <laughs> How would I forget that name, right? So beats a G3 player with the Xiong Fei first pick and a Water Mermaid, guys. Seriously, no, I was I want to say no excuses. You're gonna sit there, you're gonna be like uh, a Chroma Bagel. I don't have an a Chroma. Okay, you might not have an a Chroma. However, <laughs> a couple people out there are like I do have an a Chroma, and I really like this idea. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go use it now. But yeah. Xiong Fei in, uh, well, let's see some more. Next match, another G3 player, another Xiong Fei first pick, and a Lulu. I mean, he's got the Akroma, the Akroma gets banned, right? So he's, t he's going against a very aggressive, very strong team. He's got the strips, he's got the CCs, he's got the two different nukers, right? So he did not get stripped on there, did not get stripped yet again. So double resistance. I feel like he's going to have re very high resistance on that Xiong Fei, though. But I mean... He's got, he's got a Lulu, he's got a Xiong Fei, guys. I mean, these are easily attainable units. The runes are a different story. Runes, you know, runes are the... Runes are very important, guys. I don't know if you figured this out yet, but runes are very important, right? So he uh, deletes Ciara, increases cool time on that Lulu. Lulu's been a big pick, too. Lulu's actually been, like, this is not the first, second, 15th time that I've seen Lulu being picked in high-level RTA. So Lulu is a, a legitimately a thing, and I've actually seen this. Uh, Mo Long has been more of a thing than I've than I've seen uh, in a while. I've I've seen him a decent amount lately. Is people picking Mo Long, which I was not really. Uh... Okay, he did get reset there, right? Which I was not really expecting Mo Long to be a thing again. But uh, I mean, pe people in certain like people that are autoing. Pick like Har Mo Long, Harmonia, and some other bruisers, right? Like Dragonites and things like that. People pick those uh, at a certain rank when they're just like bruisering and autoing. But um, 
there's been a lot more Molongs that I've seen in uh, high level like this lately. So, and a lot of Lulus, a lot, a lot of Lulus. So he's going for he he went for the pass. I think he del oh never mind. I was gonna say I think he deletes the uh, the Zhang Fei now. But yeah, he's got two, there's there's two defense breakers. I feel like uh, eventually he's gonna just going for the reset again. He gets another reset. Okay, I'm curious how um. I'm curious how much resistance is on this uh, this this young Fei though, because that seems like that seems like it would be a thing that he's got like a lot of resistance on because he's a cleanser, he's a tanky cleanser. Usually cleansers have uh, super high resistance. <laughs> Next match, another Xiong Fei first pick. He doesn't even know what the opponent's gonna bring in. He's just Xiong Fei first pick, right? So they come in with a bunch of water. Actually, this feels like this feels like me playing on the Europe server account actually. So. Uh, there we go. So double speed leads. He's got the uh, he well he he brought in the bulwark. There wasn't a whole lot of activators for the bulwark. There was the Xiongfei activator and there was the uh, water werewolf activator. Those were the only two activators for the bulwark. He goes for the reckless assault. Feels like that's not a feels like that's a squishy Ciara actually, because Molong didn't feel like he took too much damage to himself, right? So he goes again for the Xiongfei. And it's four on three, though. She's going to go... Oh, no, she's not going to go down. Okay. He goes for uh, cleanse. I mean, the Akroma's definitely helping him. Ooh. Akroma did a lot of damage there. So, there you go. GG. It's runes, guys. The Akroma doesn't hurt. I'm not saying the... So, that's a despair, uh, despair water you. The Akroma doesn't hurt. I'm not going to sit here and be like, Oh, the Akroma did nothing. Akroma definitely helped him out there. But uh, still, Xiong Fei in, uh, in, in G2. I wonder what his opponents are thinking when like the first, <laughs> the first monster that comes out on it. Look, Triple Pandas! He's, not, he's memeing, but he's not memeing at the same time, right? So he bans the Lulu. He leaves the LD5 in. He bans the Lulu of all the things that he could have banned. He bans the Lulu, right? That mo actually, that Molong is tanky. I, I, you know, I said... Um, I said the Ciara seemed to be squishy. That Molong uh, is pretty tanky. He's, he's, he's got quite a significant amount of HP. He took that uh, hit from a car as like a champion, right? So, yeah, I don't know, man. 6k really did nothing to him, right? Okay, so he's going to take some... Well, does he get some glancings, though? Because the... Yeah, he didn't fully increase his attack age because Diana. I mean, uh, Diana didn't fully increase her attack age because of Chroma. Is what I meant. So now that's going to be deleted, right? Now definitely deleting that. Uh, Mo Wait a second. Does that delete Mo Long? Now I'm curious. Yeah. Okay. So Mo Long is deleted. Diana back into pony form. So it's looking bad for him. But that Akroma does a lot of damage. Didn't do enough damage. But Akroma's doing a lot of damage before, right? But I mean, there's a, uh, with Xiong Fei, there's a, there's a defense break. There's some kind of threat, there's some kind of sustain, and then there's a leader skill. So he does, I mean, he does provide some value. I'm still going to say it's crazy to see Xiong Fei in G2. Uh, but he does, and he's not always, he's not always picking, like, if the, um, if the opponent gets first pick, uh, he's not always necessarily bringing the Xiong Fei after that. So, just FYI, there's, like, sometimes that he's, like, brings other stuff, or, like, brings Xiong Fei in, like, the second round of picks. So... Looks to be fairly tanky, right? Chroma's, Chroma's helping, right? Chroma's, Chroma's, it, it definitely helps to have a Chroma there, but it's not like he's picking, like, Xiong Fei and, like, four LD5s. It's like he's picking Xiong Fei and, like, a few other bruisers, right? So, he goes for the skill three on the Ragdoll. But he really, he wants to go for this uh, Vigor first. So, there we go. GG. Another first pick, Xiong Fei. He brings in the uh, Water Paladin. He brings, he bans out the Akaris. He leaves in all that control, right? Because he's got the Akroma in there. He's got the, if, if Akroma didn't get in, the Water Paladin would have got in. Xiong Fei would have got in, right? So there's there's decent amount of like, you know, Akroma, between Akroma's passive and then the uh, cleanse and shield from the Josephine and then the cleanse from the Xiong Fei, right? But the Xiong Fei actually uh, resisted the, uh, oh, Molong did a... Molong took a decent amount of damage there, didn't he? For once. Feels like he took more damage than he was before. Um, but, Water water Ryu did not strip the Xiong Fei. Although, let me, element advantage. 
but uh, it's not a hundred percent chance to strip, right? So it's a multi-hit. Uh, it's a small chance to strip, but uh, but yeah, didn't didn't actually get any of the hits. Uh, yeah, any of the strips into the Seung Fei. So I'm surprised to see the fire the the fire side. So I think he's a decent unit, but I do think that he actually needs like a higher activation rate or something that fire slayer right because i feel like he 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 just he, he needs a little bit more considering what the other control units do he needs like his first skill is fine his second skill is fine just that third skill needs like a little bit of higher activation rate because it's not like 100 percent activation so i really wish he did a little bit uh the fire slayer did a little bit more he's got a good leader skill though but uh, anyway that's it for this one just wanted to show you guys i thought you guys would get a kick out of it Yes, he's using a Chroma to LD5, but he's playing in G2. He's first picking Seung Fei like a baller, and I thought it was really, uh, I thought it was really interesting. I like to see different things like that instead of first picking like the same like, like uh, one of the art masters, water reuse, they are like the same first picks over and over and over again. Seung Fei first pick, like dude, Seung Fei first pick. Uh, anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. It. I'll see you as always in the next one.